Okay, neutrality and intention. Hmm. I think also those are words as well. Yes. So, you know, there is... Um, uh, so there is... Um, for me, the you know, when I use the word intention, I sort of use it more on a spiritual level. And for me, intention is more like inspiration. So it's more like a, a mm -hmm. it's more like a like if I have an intention to be spiritual, to serve God, or to mm -hmm. do things. These are more originating from a heart level, or a soul level, or a spiritual level, or a non-dual level, mm -hmm. and they inspire. Mm -hmm. They inspire. Uh, they come through in form, mm -hmm. like this is the way I'm going to like make sandwiches for the poor, but that is being inspired from the inspirational level, from in spirit. Okay, so, and then for me, the, um, um, when, when it's like more of an ego thing, then it's it, the, the intention to be more thinner or something, or to, as to be better than, you know, to get more uh, validation, I think is more, is, is not really, that's more of an ego, I call it more of an ego goal, to differentiate it from an inspired mm -hmm. intention. But for me, intention... I think the higher form of intention is more like, um, it's not a mental thing, it's more of a thing. Now, Hawkins has a book called Power Versus Force, mm -hmm. and he, I like the, the methodology he uses. When, you're, when the ego is trying to force a solution in the world, it's like coming more from a place of the ego levels. Like, uh, and when it's coming from uh, power, i.e. love, you know, it's more effortless. It's more, you know, the, the energy of God is like infinite, infinite supply. So when you look at muscle testing, you, your muscles stay strong. Like a saint would probably, would their, their muscles would be strong all the time because they're coming from the intention of, of, of love. Whereas um, as the, with the lower fields of intention, then it can be coming from ego levels or more like, I would say it's more like an ego goal than an inspired spiritual intention. You know, the neutrality, okay, so the difference with neutrality, anything that originates out of ego, I, I, I try and get it to a place of neutrality. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. like anything that um, is coming out of the fields of like, like donuts, I want to be in a position of neutrality around donuts. Mm -hmm. I want to be in a position of neutrality around, um, uh, around the body, the body, and comparing bodies and how fat or thin bodies are. Neutrality is the mechanism I use. So, like all the fields, so the fields, the lower fields of the ego are shame, guilt, fear, apathy, and pride. So those are the lower energetic fields of the ego. So when I'm in those vibrations, anything that I do to get relief from those vibrations, for me would be. Um, they would have a feeling of urgency to get out of the pain of separation. Mm. Yeah? So if I want to be thin, or if I want to have an unlimited supply of donuts, or if I want my boss to like me, then for me, the solution my ego will come up was like, well, can I buy my boss a box of chocolates to bribe him, or whatever it is, or <laughs> can I get a diet book, or um, you know, how can I make more money? But these for me are like dualistic, solutions from the ego. They're, they're, they're out of fear and, they're, and they have the energy and the thinkingness of trying to control and, and, and force a solution from the world. So for me then, um, with, Haw with Hawkins' work, whenever I'm in fear and trying to control, and that's an ego vibration, mm -hmm. so all my thinking is going to be a re resonating at that level of consciousness, fear or greed or shame or pride, whatever it is. So I don't want to I don't want to get a solution from the world to fix those problems. I want to first get into a position of neutrality. So I try to get to, into a position of neutrality around the energy and my thinking. So the course says meaninglessness, but I would say ne neutrality is meaninglessness. So I need my thinking to get into a place of neutrality or meaninglessness, and I need the, the energy, the feelings, to also go to neutrality. So, like, uh, so um, as a food addict, but it doesn't matter what the problem is, like food addict, solution is food, or being thinner, and the, so there's a thinking aspect. Mm. So all those thoughts, I need to be neutral or meaningless. 
and then there's the energy you know there's the the feeling of separation so i don't want to feel that craving any longer i need to be in a position of neutrality so to be in a position of neutrality around hunger and craving so i like the word neutrality um, but neutrality is not love but i think it gets you near enough you know it's not going to be it's not going to be the thing that torments you once you're neutral and you know the the great idea you know is cuz i think uh, yeah, love is more powerful than neutrality, but I think when you're suffering from something, getting to neutrality is easier than saying, like, I want to... And love, I think the word love can be confused with personal love, and that can sometimes create problems as well. So, um, so neutrality is like the first level of freedom. Of course, love, in, infinite love is more powerful than neutrality, but whenever I'm suffering something, I want to get. I want my. I want to make the thoughts meaningless. I yeah, cancel my belief in this thought, or I want to make um, this thing. So intention, for me, is aligned with spirit, and neutrality. When I use the word neutrality, it's when I'm suffering something. I want to get to neutrality around it. Um, so that's how I distinguish. So when I that's the that's the those are the distinguishments between them.